Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are doing a first impressions of the Seiko SRPG37. This is a watch that my wife actually got for me as my Christmas gift. Thank you, Audrey. Those of you who have seen Audrey on the channel know exactly who I'm talking about. If you're curious as to who Audrey is, just look at some of my wife's reacts videos and you'll know exactly who she is. So I have been wanting a decent watch like this actually for a while. Uh, the only watch I have had has been a, I believe it's a Timex Expedition Scout that like the watch face is all scratched up. It's got some marring. And so for Christmas, I got a couple of watches and this was one of them. And I actually really like it. It is though about a 200 to $250 watch, depending on when you buy it. This is the type of style of watch that I really like. All the numbers are labeled, each point has somewhere on the dial. I don't have to do any guessing. I know exactly what time it is. I hate it when there's only four numbers on the face and then everything else is up to guessing. It's like, okay, that's cool. Not really. I hate that. I like this because it's exact. I can even count the seconds. I do like that there's also a date area on the watch. See that there? It actually says it in, I believe, Spanish? I think it says it in Spanish and English, the date. Because I remember one day it was Sunday and it said D-O-M for Domingo, which I believe is Spanish for Sunday. There have been a couple times, because I've worn this, the strap, it takes a little use to it, like getting used to the watch, but then after you get used to kind of the canvas, very, very comfortable. Because this is a movement watch, so let's see if you guys can hear that. I'm just gonna hold it up to the microphone. If you guys can hear that. You either have to, when you're wearing it, kind of stay active so that the pendulum on the inside, see if you can see it swing down. Oh, you see it move? Yeah, you see that pendulum? So when that pendulum moves, it basically charges the watch. Well, if, if I'm sitting still, what I gotta do is kinda every hour or so just kinda twist it a little bit. Because I have seen this, it'll kinda lose power and I have had it where it's been like 15 to 30 minutes behind time because I didn't wear it for a couple days. So that's something to keep in mind if you like, if you wanna get a watch like this is just like with your knives, it kind of takes some maintaining. And the fact that if you want it to perform its best, you kind of has, this, you got to maintain it a little bit. I will say though, this watch feels, it's, it feels nice. Everything on it is smooth. I like the way the glass on the watch face looks. It's like you're looking through, almost like a magnifying glass because it's, it's, you see how it's domed there on the watch. So even if you're looking at it from the side, you can still see basically what time it is. I rather like it. And then it's a glow in the dark. I believe it charged the dial charges from light. And so when you turn it off, it does that, which is cool, but you can't see the, the letters aren't. I think it's anywhere where the white is, excluding the letters, will light up. But it works and it's really cool. There's sometimes where it'll really charge from the sunlight and then I go into a darker area and I get a glow off of it, which I like. But this one was kind of meant to be, you know, for a watch, I don't really need a $600 watch. And I've never really liked the metal bands. I've always either liked leather or cloth. Just because I don't, I just, there's something about the chain link metal bands that I just don't, I used to like, but I just don't find them all that appealing. Whereas with something like this, I really like. And if I'm gonna spend money on a watch, the next, the last thing I wanna to have to do is to also switch out the strap. 
this is perfect and so i think i'll just end this video with me sh showing me put on this watch way that I like to do it is I feed it back through, which I believe was their intended purpose. And then if I get enough, I'll normally tuck it back in there. Let's see. Looks like I got enough. Boom. See that? And then it can normally just sit comfortably on my wrist about there, which keeps it away. And then when I don't need it, I can always just tuck it under. And then when I do, and I know exactly what time it is. Or you can always do kind of one of these. And just tuck your sleeve behind the watch. That way you always know what time it is. But because of where I work, I kind of need to know the time. On the gun counter on our forms, where I'm working now, there's a little time slot. When we get busy, it helps. It's not normally a required field, but it helps basically know who's next in line when you put the time. It can also help with identifying the form if you lose it and you need to look it up again. And I will say at first this wasn't comfortable, but I got used to it and now it is. I probably could have gone one notch tighter, but I tend to like them a little looser so I can shove them back a little bit and keep them there. Because when they get up here, that can happen and it kind of restricts your movement, which I don't like. So you gotta kind of find a happy medium I am very happy with this Seiko. It looks very good, and it's definitely getting wrist time for sure. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Leave your thoughts down below. If you have a Seiko, let me know which one. Let me know if you liked this video, if, if watches are something that interests you. If they aren't, also let me know. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't you ever, ever forget to stay on time.